Hello, educators. This is Troy, your instructional designer. And then today we're going to be taking a look at connecting a pre-built course at Blackboard to McGraw-Hill Connect platform coming up. Now, before we begin, I wanted to lay the foundation of what we're actually trying to achieve here. Many of our lead faculty have a master course template or a master course that has all the content that they're going to be copying into the new sections or the live sections that the students are going to see. If you have a master course that is connected to McGraw-Hill Connect, all the assignments have been moved over into Blackboard and you've built out your course that way, when it copies or when it creates those new sections for that particular term, all of those links are not going to work. They're not connected to anything. So what I'm going to explain in this video is how we can actually reestablish those links to make sure that the other faculty that are teaching our sections are getting the content in their course, the same content we have, but is connected to their version of our course. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out my other video on how to pair a course for McGraw-Hill Connect on my YouTube channel. And again, if you haven't done so, be sure to check out all of my other videos that I have on YouTube. I have a lot of tips and tricks on how faculty can get things in their courses and how to manage them appropriately throughout the semester. Now, to get started, we need to verify a few things here. Number one, that we have the course section we are wanting to reestablish the links in. And number two, on the McGraw-Hill Connect side, we want to have a carbon copy of the master course that this was created in. So I have had a lead faculty of the Spanish course here that has created a section for me or the adjunct professor, and that is a direct copy of their master. So the assignments are exactly the same. All of the content in that course is exactly the same. And this is how we're gonna make sure that all those links line up. If you're a faculty member that has your own version of your Connect and you're receiving a copy of a course that has Connect assignments in, most of the time those might not work because it's not an exact copy of the original course in McGraw-Hill. So we have both instances here in Blackboard. We have a course that I'm putting the content in or reestablishing the links in. And I have a course over on the McGraw-Hill side that was shared to me by the lead instructor. So we're gonna take a look at my screen and walk us through the steps. Now for this example, I have two tabs open here on my screen. The first one being the course that all the content is in and all of the links are in. And the second tab is my McGraw Hill. Now I wanna show with you on the bottom here, I do have my Spanish course that was shared to me. It is a fall 2022 section. I can see that this is shared with me based on this little icon here. We can see that it is not linked to anything. It doesn't have the little lock icon here, but no, I can get into this course and I can look at all the content, but I'm not actually gonna do anything over on this side. I just wanted to make you guys aware that I have this out here. Be sure that the lead faculty shares a carbon copy of their course in McGraw-Hill Connect. They give you a section of it, so that way we can link it and all of the assignments will reestablish your links. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close this window here. I'm going back to Blackboard. I can see that I have these links here. These are McGraw-Hill links for some orientation information. I'm gonna go ahead and click on any one of these links. All you would have to do is find one of these links, click on it, and it's gonna take us to this very familiar paired course page. I then am going to select an existing connect course, find my Spanish course, and find the section that I have created out there. I'm going to hit save, and now it's connected. This is actually pairing the course to our McGraw-Hill Connect. It is not re-establishing these links. So this is now how I'm going to go and re-establish the connection for these three links that I have here in this orientation section. I'm going to go and return back to Blackboard. What that do, does, it will close out that tab. I'm going to go to the Books and Tools link over here on the left and hit View Course and Institution Tools. 
I'm going to find that we have connect up here at the top. Yours might not exist over here. Maybe you can go and hit browse all tools, but we want it to be here. There is an arrow that if we click this arrow, it has a drop down menu. Or we can go and simply click this connect. But we want to get to this page here. It shows that my course is connected based on I have this section over here. But under the tools area, it says sync with my connect section. So I'm going to click this and it's going to go out and find those items. It might take a while depending on how much content you have there. I only have three assignments in this example. And it says, these are undeployed assignments. These three assignments are automatically going to be deployed from Connect, and all of the information is going to be updated, whether it's due dates, points, student grades, etc. I then am going to hit submit. It's going to do its thing, and it says that it was successful. I can hit OK. Now, from this course page, I can go back to Blackboard. The pages will do its thing. I can come out, go back to that orientation document. And if I click this document, it will take me to the course that I've created right to that assignment. Again, this could be any assignment that we have over there, but just know that that link is now working. And all of these, there's a voice board assignment. All of these are now re-established. So to recap, we have a lead faculty that has created a course shell in Blackboard and McGraw-Hill that have all the content of their course. We as instructors or faculty have received a copy of this where the students are going to participate. We then establish that pair connection, but we also want to refresh or resync all of the links within that course. If we do it correctly, all of them will come through. If you do experience an error, there's always that you can go and unpair the course itself, repair it, and then go back in and reestablish those links. I hope this video was helpful. If you need any additional help with your Blackboard course, feel free to reach out or comment with your questions below. For the best tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other YouTube videos. The best help that I can give to you is go to help.blackboard.com and check out all of their walkthroughs and specific settings for your course, either in Blackboard Ultra or Blackboard Original. Thanks for watching.